Hey everybody, it's Kellen Nitro from Nitromaniac TV's wrestling channel, and this is my take on the big AEW Double or Nothing press conference that happened uh, last night in Las Vegas, Nevada at the MGM Grand. Um, first of all, man, Kenny Omega signing with AEW, and finally, it looks like we're getting teased that big rematch between Jericho and Omega for Double or Nothing. Uh, to bring that match to North America and to bring that match in front of a North American crowd is going to be huge. Uh, I think that's your big money maker of the card. I think that's what you're going to sell the pay-per-view on, uh, and I guess, or live streaming or what they're going to do to distribute the event. Uh, I would think that they'd probably go with a pay-per-view model for it, but that was big. And you know what? Um... Thinking about it, this whole saga was, you know, whether Kenny was going to end up in WWE or if he was going to stick with New Japan or go to AEW. Uh, the AEW thing, I think, is probably the most obvious fit, uh, just due to the fact that they've built up this brand over the past four or five years. And, um, you know, from nothing, from just, you know, being a faction over in New Japan to uh, now it being its own company... And, you know, it's their time to cash in. Of course they're going to, you know, cash in on it. So it would be a no-brainer, I would think, uh, for him to go uh, anywhere else, or for him not to go anywhere else but AEW, I should say. And, um, you know, it's it, it's a good fit for sure. And uh, the fact that they were able to land Jericho, which is huge, uh, big-name star, but still main event value, uh, it, it's massive. So already with that match on any pay-per-view card it's going to be great tag team division filling out nicely with the additions of the best friends and the lucha brothers last night uh the young bucks kind of building a uh, uh looks like maybe either a triple threat match for i guess their version of a tag titles or maybe just a one-on-one -on -one with the lucha brothers at uh double or nothing they've teased that to be the main event match. Uh, I think that if you sell the card on Jericho Omega 2 and you end up kind of pushing it as that as kind of the semi, or not the semi main, but as the match that will go on after the main event, I think that's smart uh, marketing, smart booking right across the, the, the board for that. Uh, you're going to have a talented undercard of 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 talent there not so is it an independent wrestling all all-star card like all in is uh not quite at this point but it's just because the names that they've signed aren't as familiar uh to a lot of the wrestling fans and that stuff that are shall we say mainstream fans guys who and girls that watch wwe mostly or new japan mostly and that stuff uh but a lot of the names they announced last night people like sunny kiss kylie ray these are young talents that are kind of establishing themselves on the independent scene right now. So for them to walk into AEW, hey, it's a great opportunity for them, great opportunity for this company. This company's untapped, unproven. So, you know, whatever they do will eventually be the uh, the bar setter. Bottom line, it's going to be a great event, I think, and uh, we'll have more as it unfolds. Not much else to say other than if you haven't caught the press conference, it's on YouTube on the Being the Elite channel. Go check it out. All right, folks, I'm Kellen Nitro. Later days, happy wrestling watching, and stay tuned to Nitro Maniac TV's wrestling channel where we'll have more wrestling content, news, opinions, and so forth going forward in the months upcoming. Like and subscribe. All right, later, guys.